Welcome to Combining Proportions. In this lesson, I'm learning to combine proportions and work out what parts the total is made up of. Well, over here, you can see I've got some bars that are made. My first stack over here is made up of uh, four uh, orange squares and six blue squares, and my second stack is made up of two orange squares and eight blue squares. Now to start with, I want to work out the ratio of orange squares to blue squares in stack 1. Well, I can see there are 4 uh, orange squares, so that is 4, 2, how many blue ones there are here, and that is 6, so the ratio is 4 to 6. Now I want to do the same for the second stack here. I can see that 2 of them are orange, and I know that the other 8 here are blue. So that is 2 to 8. And if I wanted to express that ratio as uh, blue to orange, I would just swap those two numbers around. Right, let's see if we can work out as a fraction what that is. Well, I'm worried about or thinking about the orange, so the numerator is going to be 4 because there are 4 orange blocks. And this is the bit where sometimes people get a little bit confused, working out the denominator. Sometimes people think that the denominator is 6, but we know that the denominator is the total number of blocks. So in stack 1, there are 10 blocks, so 4 tenths are orange. And in my second stack over here, 2 of them are orange, and how many blocks are there in the stack? There are 10, so 2 tenths of them are orange. And I know that as a percentage, 4 tenths is 40%, and for stack 2, 2 tenths is 20%. Now what I want to do now is I want to join these two stacks together. Now before I do any more, have a look at these two percentages. In the stack 1, there was 40% was orange, and in the stack 2, 20% uh, was orange, and have a think. If I combine these, what do you think the percentage of orange will be? Well, let's start by uh, working out the ratio of orange for the uh, two groups joined together. Well, there's four orange plus two orange, which means there must be six, and there are eight blue plus six blue, which means there must be 14. So the ratio of orange to blue is six to 14. Now, as a fraction, there are six uh, orange over the total amount of blocks, and since I've joined the two groups together, that must be out of 20. And now I want to show that as a percentage. Well, I know that 6 twentieths is the same as 3 tenths, so it must be 30%. Let's try another question. Uh, this time over here, I've got a really big stack, um, and one small stack. So let's start off by trying to work out the ratios. Well, for stack 1 over here, you can see that I have got 12 orange blocks to uh, compete against the blue ones where I've only got 8, so that ratio is 12 to 8. For stack 2 though, there's 2 orange and 3 blue. Now let's work out what fraction of the blocks are orange. Well, I know that the numerator is going to be 12, because 12 of stack 1 are orange. Now the denominator is all the orange blocks plus all the blue blocks. So in stack 1, that is 20, because there are 20 blocks. And over here, the numerator is going to be 2, because there are two orange ones. And the denominator is going to be the blue blocks plus the orange blocks. So the denominator is 5. Now we need to work out what that is as a percentage. Well, I know that 12 twentieths is the same as 6 tenths, so they must be 60%. And I know that 2 fifths is the same as 4 tenths, so here 40% uh, of stack 2 is orange. Now, just like last time, I'm going to see what happens when I join these two, two groups together. So now in stack 1, 60% were orange, and in stack 2, 40% were orange. 
What percentage do you think will be orange when we join these two amounts together? Will we be going somewhere right in the middle? Or will it matter that this is a much bigger group than this small group over here? Well, let's start by working out the uh, ratio of orange to blue when they're all joined together. Well, there are 12 in stack 1, 2 in stack 2, which means there must be 14 orange, and there were 8 blue in stack 1, and 3 blue in stack 2, which means in to total there's uh, 11. And we could check that by coming over here and adding them all up. Now, as a fraction, we know that 14 are uh, orange. Now we need to work out the denominator and to do that we need to work out the total amount of blocks that are in this group and the total amount of blocks that are in this group. And we know there are 20 over here and 5 over here so our denominator is 25. Now I just need to convert this into a percentage. Well you might know from your basic facts that one way I can do that is to bring the denominator up to 100 because a percentage is out of 100. Now I can do that by making 25 4 times bigger. But if I do that, to keep this fraction the same, I'm also going to have to make the numerator 4 times bigger. And I know that 4 times 14 is 56. So this ha fraction here, 56 out of 100, is equivalent or equal to 14 25ths. The reason that I've done that though is that it's now much easier for me to change uh, 56 hundredths into a percentage, and the answer is 56%. Now, just before we started to work out what would happen when we joined them together, we had a bit of a guess about where the joined uh, percentage would fit. Would it be uh, 60 or 40 or somewhere in between? And in our last example, the answer was right in the middle, so I'm sure some people probably guessed 50%. But the difference between this question and our last one is that there are a lot more blocks in stack 1 than there are in stack 2. So that means stack 1 carries a little bit more weight than what stack 2 does. So that's why instead of being 50, which would be right in the middle, it gets bumped up a little bit to 56. Hopefully you found this lesson helpful. For more help, uh, check out teachertools.co.nz.